Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to click on a checkbox with the help of Selenium Java Web Driver. So I have this web page, sample web page you can say, where I have radio buttons, checkboxes, drop down list, and a button. Out of which I'm going to check on this polo button, but I have swapped the IDs for each. So right click on it and We'll be able to see the element so for body let me check for checkboxes okay so in case of checkbox we have polo id for marco and marco id for polo right so i'm going to search for polo id to check the marco checkbox okay so now Get into your Eclipse project, import Selenium and Selenium Firefox. After that, we will create web driver driver equals to new Firefox driver. After that, driver dot get and here I will copy the URL of my web page and then we will use try and catch block now inside try block we are going to pause for some time with the help of thread dot sleep wait for 6000 ms and then i'm going to use driver dot find element and for file the element i'm going to check for id which is follow and after that, I'm going to use click method on this. And for catch, let's use normal exception. And then print it out, system.out, print a land, E. Okay, so now that everything is saved, we can simply go ahead and run our test. But let me revise everything again. We imported Selenium and Firefox package. We navigated to the page where we have checkbox. We got the ID for that element. And inside try and catch block, we are checking for that element and then clicking on it. For catch, we are catching the exception if there is any. So let's run this program. So this opens our Firefox instance and it will take some time to check on this Marco checkbox. But as you can see, it checked our Marco box. If you change this ID to Polo to say Marco, then it will check Polo checkbox. Okay, you can also use XPath instead of ID to find this particular ID. So for that, you use XPath expression dot double slash, then star inside square brackets, you start by at the rate ID equals to, and then your value in single quote, which is polo. You can change this to Marco for now to check whether it works. Make sure this expression is correct because if it's not, then it will be harder for our selenium to find particular element to check. So let's run this program again. So it starts our browser and it will take us to our specific page where it should click on polo checkbox value. So it will take pause and it checks our polo option. So now you know how to use either ID or XPath expression to click on checkbox values.